today from Toronto, Canada. It's the AFC wildcard round on EA Sports. It's the Toronto Mounties taking on the Chicago Blues. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. Tonight, it's the AFC's turn to take center stage as we've got a wild card matchup on tap between the Chicago Blues and the Toronto Mounties. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the postseason on EA Sports. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And, Charles, that's really all I need to say to get you fired up. It's the postseason on EA Sports. And no one's more fired up than the guys who are going to be playing in this game. This is what they fought for. Twists and turns will January have in store for us. The NFL playoffs are officially underway. And we will not get a run back here to start. It's a touchback, and it will come out to the 25. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. As we take a look at the starting quarterback, Deshaun Kaiser, the man who hails from Toledo, Ohio, and of course played his college ball at Notre Dame. And he comes into this wild card round off of a really good regular season, better than 30 touchdown passes. And he said he feels like he can take some shots against the secondary. In fact, in our meeting, he said not only can he take shots, he expects to do it early. That's right. The right side is complete here on the first play of the drive. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. It's funny when I go back to our pregame meeting with Amari Cooper and we mention, eh, what if they play man coverage against you? He almost seemed offended by it, didn't he? I'll beat it. That's basically what he said, right? <laughs> I mean, the best receivers we've ever talked to and covered, when you talk about covering them with one guy, they think that's a personal affront. If they feel like if they can't just beat one defender, then they're not very good. A first down throw for Kaiser. He'll get this to Coleman. So the completion good for seven there. And it'll make it a second down. To throw is Kaiser. He'll drop this down to Coleman. I'm not sure that this play was designed for him specifically, but they got through the progressions and got the ball to him. So second catch on the drive. He may not be a primary guy, but they definitely want him involved, don't they? Yeah, absolutely. This early, the opening drive, as you said, two catches. So if they can get him going in the passing game, that should open up his running game, too. Second and 10, a very chilly day here, but no snow. And you know, I got to say, if it's going to be this cold, I want snow. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. The sack comes from Anthony Hitchens. Man, he got in there so quickly, Charles. What could the offense have done to adjust and account for that? But what you're hoping is that you figure it out and you see and get a clue that maybe there's going to be some pressure coming at you and you change the blocking schemes. Maybe you go to max protection. The biggest one is maybe you bring your running back in to try and keep you clean. But in that case, that didn't happen. Zero accountability and a sack resulted. So a tough spot for Kaiser. The sack, and now it's third and long. Kaiser. Coleman has it here right side. And he'll go down to the ground at the 39, and obviously that's well short of the first. Three yards, all they could muster there, and it'll bring up fourth down. We can make this one pretty simple. Locked up all of his progressions downfield, forced to get it to his running back. But how about the way they ran to the football and knocked it down to force a fourth down? 
So coming on now is the field goal unit. They're going to try for three, and he'll need all the leg he's got here. This will be from 56 yards out. Online, but off the crossbar, no good. A long-range effort denied three points at the very end. Toronto's offense ready to take over. All things considered, a pretty good kick. Just cruel punishment there to be denied by the crossbar. If you're going to hit from that distance, sometimes you're going to need a little luck. And unfortunately for him, this time the break goes against him. Oh, not sure he saw the linebacker there as that's batted down and incomplete. Nice play there to force the incompletion. And to me, one thing's for sure. When you're the underdogs and you're playing on the road, you absolutely have to get takeaways. You've got to get the ball from them. Yeah, win that turnover battle, going to be key. They didn't get one there, but you get the feeling they keep making plays like that. They might just get a few. Yeah, once you get one, defensive teams think they come in bunches. They'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. Hurt sets up to throw it. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Jacobs. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. One of my old teammates called me the other day when he was watching the game. He's like, man, trying to watch an NFL game and trying to count for their passing game? That's difficult. And just when you think you get everything covered, here comes a back out of the backfield. And in this case, he picks up a first down. Play action. Here's Hertz. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. First rep of the game for Josh Jacobs. And flags come in as he gets forward for about three yards. And let's check on the call. They'll come up now on a second and long after the hold. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Throwing his hurts. And he finds his tight end, Graham. And he gets this only to the 41, not near enough for the first. They do get nine, but it leads to fourth down. That pattern and scheme was well defensed on third down. He tried to just sprint from one side of the field to the other, and they got it to him quickly. But no chance at yards after the catch there, and they stopped him short. So now on comes the field goal unit, and wow, this is no ordinary try here. So this will be spotted on the midfield logo. It's a 58-yard attempt, and I tell you what, he got it from 58. That had lots of leg behind it. Every possession in the postseason magnified. And look, it's just the opening drive. They didn't get the touchdown they wanted, but at least they got on the board. They got on the board. They've got their home crowd into it as well. And remember, in the playoffs, the game slows down a little bit. So every point is precious. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. The last time out, they had that long 50-plus yard field goal that they missed. And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, OK, do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? And I would dare say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they told their offensive guys, can we get a little bit closer yeah, this time? Closer. Yeah, well, you know, I'd rather get in the end zone first and foremost. But if all else fails, less of a field goal attempt for him. From the shotgun, it's Kaiser. He's got the hook up here to Deshaun Jackson. 
It's going the other way. And they have possession, and they have it at the 38-yard line. These defenses have become so opportunistic, and no matter what you're playing, in this case, wide receiver, you got to be careful. You certainly do, because there is a phrase in today's football that we use all the time, completing the process of the catch. Well, it's after you do that where the trouble begins, right? Meaning you've tucked it away, you're trying to get downfield, but someone's always coming up trying to rake in the ball and knock it free. But first down, Hurts. He finds his man complete. It's Porter. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. First carry for Josh Jacobs. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. That's a nice run right there, able to get to the outside. And so many times, defenses say, OK, we got you hemmed in. But if you're running the football, at least you know where everyone is coming from. You don't have to worry about the backside at all. That allows you to run with a little bit more confidence as you traverse down the field. They had to settle for three last drive, hoping this second go around ends in six. In good position, first and ten. And he gets it inside the ten to the nine. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? I'm not but his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving. of scrimmage on second and goal. Off the option, here's Jacobs. And he will take this one in for a touchdown. Josh Jacobs, a six-yard touchdown run. And the Mounties are able to add on to that lead. A solid blocking up front from the guys on the offensive line allowed him to get in for the touchdown. Yeah, some might say that the guys on the offensive line were in concert. I used to have a coach who called it marrying up, meaning when you get on a guy, you just stay right there, and each guy has his own assignment. That allowed the runner to make the big move towards the end zone. Extra point by McPherson, up and good, and the lead grows to 10 0. So that drive spanned five plays. And it was capped off by a touchdown run from Josh Jacobs. So an early 10-0 lead for him now as they kick it away. And not willing to risk another fumble, he'll sit on this one. It's a touchback. Another drive coming up for this Chicago offense. And they had the fumble last time that led to a touchdown. That's a no-no. We'll see what they do here this go-around. <laughs> a big no-no. Put that in capital letters. Turning it over, the other team takes it down and scores. That can be a deflator for a football team. Now it's up to the offense to get back out on the field and pick things up. Well, they're out there. We'll see if they can pick those things back up. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here. Second down. Coleman going to get it again on second down. And not a whole lot doing there as he'll get it up to about the 28-yard line. They follow up the gain of two with a gain of one that time. When we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. On third down, Kaiser. And he's got Cooper on the out route. That's complete. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. You can almost hear the sigh of relief coming from their sideline and from their point on the field because this has been a tough start for them thus far. A much-needed first down there. They needed something good to happen. Plays like that will continue to help them dig out of this hole.
Kaiser now to throw on first down. He'll find Juju Smith-Schuster. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. A first carry now for Kareem Hunt. And this time they were waiting for him as he'll be knocked down before he can get back to the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness, he's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. Second and 12. To throw, Kaiser. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he's corralled at the 40, but not before picking up eight. Well, this crowd does not like that call. Understandable reaction from them. That's their team that the penalty is going against. But you and I both know they're going to take care of the quarterback. 10-0 the score after one on EA Sports. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Now Hunt. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. They go play action. Kaiser. Oh, he's got him in wide open. Complete and able to get him down, but he does reach the five. And that was good protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver. Although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way. Nice connection there for a really nice gain. This will be their first trip to the red zone. They've got it first and goal to go. Here's Kaiser. Got his man, and it's caught for a Chicago touchdown. Amari Cooper there to make the grab. And the Blues have got it back to within a score. There was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. Now for the point after. And they're back within a field goal. It's 10-7 now. So that drive goes eight plays, and it culminates in a touchdown for Chicago. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Toronto's offense ready to take over. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you score points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. On the ground, it's Jacobs to start the drive. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. Here's a handoff to Jacobs. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. 43 yards rushing for him now, and he's carried the ball just five times. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let it pick up a first down. Keep the sticks moving. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. On the handoff, this is Jacobs. 
And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. And this is an example of breaking down a defense, because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack, and guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. They'll run right here with Jacobs. He'll get about four here down to the 43-yard line. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. On second down, Jacobs. Call it a gain of a couple, and that's going to leave him with a third and about five. Here's Hurts to throw. And this pass broken up. Now the contact well timed there, and now fourth down. More problems here on third down. They've converted only once so far in this first half. And you know as well as I do in this league, if you don't win on third down, it makes it hard to win a ball game because then you're relying on your defense, you're relying on your special teams. You've got to get it done with your offensive unit. So now they're going to send out the field goal unit to, as they say, fire away from long distance. So this will be spotted on the midfield logo. It's a 58-yard attempt. No problems in the field goal department so far. He's two for two. Pretty reliable here in this game, isn't he? And to me, that bodes well for them. If they need him late in the game, his confidence should be sky high. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. Deshaun Kaiser making his way out to the huddle. And he had the touchdown on the last drive, also four for four. Very, very effective. What does he need to do to translate that forward into this drive? Not think that what he saw in coverage his last time is exactly what he's going to get again. He's got to play ahead and start, and start thinking to himself, okay, we just did that. What are they going to take away now? What do we go to as a counter and continue to encourage his offensive line to continue to give him time? They were really good on the last drive. Yeah, another negative play in an early down situation. This one to start the drive. You're putting a lot of pressure on your quarterback to bail you out when you're in second and long yardage. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. They'll throw here, Kaiser. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. J.J. Watt just would not be denied. That's a loss of seven. We said it before the game, and I think it's still apparent. If these guys are going to advance in these playoffs, they're going to have to wreak some havoc coming off the edge. Yeah, wild card round. They told us the wild card could be that defensive pressure. They showed it there. So a tough spot for Kaiser. The sack, and now it's third and long. Working out of the gun, here's Kaiser. Escaping the pressure right, and he'll be out of bounds at the 25-yard line. It's a nine-yard pickup on the play, and that's going to bring up a fourth down. I thought he did a pretty good job there to get back what he could, but let's face it, that sack on second down, talk about throwing a wrench into the works. It certainly did. Yeah, he did everything he could there, trying to pick up some positive yardage, and he did, but not enough. Out is Rigoberto Sanchez on fourth down to punt this thing. Forty-six yards on the boot. The coverage holds him to just three on the return. 
getting set to go again as we look at the back heading onto the field again. And he's well on his way to a 100-yard game. He's already more than halfway there. We're only in the second quarter. And what I've always loved about running backs is they'll tell you, I had no idea how many yards I had. Right. Those guys have an innate <laughs> sense of where they are in a ball game and how many yards they've accumulated because you know they're always working towards 100. He's been working well towards 100 here. Now, after the running play, we've got a man down on the field. While the trainers take a look, we'll step aside. Hey, Jacobs now. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. Really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. On second down now, it's Jacobs. Looking for a cutback lane, but nothing there as he's met at the line of scrimmage. The offense on third down, just one for three thus far. This is third and nine. Over the middle, complete. It's Graham. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. And that's well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field, right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw. And they hooked up there for a first down. Here's Jacobs on first and 10. And they'll get this just to the 47, one-yard gain. No doubt about it, a really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. On second and nine, Hurts. This is Chase Claypool on the receiving end. So third and two, this quite possibly four down territory though if they're stopped. He'll drop to throw. And this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. You've always been very good about checking my math. Am I correct? That's the first time that it's been incomplete when they've thrown it to him? Yes, he had caught every other ball coming his way. So they feel like they've got something really good going there, and they're going to continue to go there until the defense makes an adjustment and takes it away. Well, they finally made an adjustment there. We'll see if they can build on that stop. So coming on now is the field goal unit. They're going to try for three, and he'll need all the leg he's got here. They'll spot it at the 47, so call it a 57-yard attempt. 158 left to play till we hit halftime. Coming up at the half, we remind you that we're going to do what we've done all year. We'll get you down to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. Coach will have the lowdown of what's going on here in this wild card weekend as we begin the road to the upcoming Super Bowl. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. Deshaun Kaiser making his way out to the huddle. Been a decent start for him here in this first half, but they're losing. And I think as the captain of the offense, you probably always feel like you need to do more in that situation. The best have always felt that way, and they won't settle for anything less. So right now, his goal is to increase what he's doing. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Cordray Tankersley with a pick, and he'll get this back down to about the 12-yard line. Well, this had trouble written all over from the start. He's got two extra defensive backs in the game he's got to deal with. They're in a dime set. So everywhere he's looking, he's seeing a different color jersey. And sure enough, this one winds up being intercepted. There again is the running back as he trots onto the field. He's been good. His guys are winning. So far, the recipe working here in the second quarter. He doesn't like to just tote the rock. He wants to carry his team on his back, and that's what he's done throughout this game. Yeah, he's done that. He'll be hoping to continue that trend. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. 
from the gun. It's Hurts. And it's caught. Touchdown. Josh Jacobs. He scored on the ground and through the air. And the Mounties are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Well, he wasn't the guy they were initially going for, but after going through the progressions, it worked. When you have plenty of people who can catch the football, you don't always have to go to your primary target, and sometimes that target is actually covered. Nice job coming off of that and getting it to someone who was open. And a man out of the backfield gets in for the score. McPherson on for the point after. And that will make this a 16-point lead. Drive started with not a whole lot of real estate in front of them in plus territory. Excellent field position. Two plays later, Pater. So after the made field goal, here's McPherson to send this one away. Jackson now to return. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. Deshaun Kaiser making his way out to the huddle. A lot of the problems have been on the other side of the ball. Is that frustrating for a quarterback who's been playing well? It is, but there's no way that the best ones let their teammates know that. They actually take it upon themselves and say, okay, I have to do even more or I need to play better. Maybe even say, I put my defense in a bad spot. That's what true leadership shows you. Yeah, well, he doesn't need to change much personally. First down now, but that clock rolling. Being chased out left. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. The last drive, remember, a similar situation. He forced a ball into coverage through the pick. He learned better there. Yeah, similar to a golfer that's confronted with a shot that you just can't make. Sometimes you have to take your medicine, as they say, right? Just pull it down, take off, and go. Don't make something worse than what it was. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Kaiser to throw it. It's caught by Jackson. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. To throw again on second down. Kaiser. And that is knocked away in the middle of the field and incomplete. And the line to gain here is the 37 on third down. Kaiser now. He'll get this one underneath to Hunt. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. It'll be a loss of two on the play. And it'll be fourth down. That's a nice clip and save sequence there defensively because they did everything as they would have wanted to. They forced a third down, blanketed the field with coverage, nowhere to go with the football, forced the dump off to the back, and even then they closed quickly and got him down behind the line of scrimmage. You name it. They did it well in that last sequence. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. And this is going to hit the goal line and continue on into the end zone for a touchback. So time perhaps for one final kneel down before they take this lead to the locker room. And with time running down, they go down to a knee. So we're at halftime of this AFC wild card matchup. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. The second of our three games here on this wild card Saturday is at halftime. We're going to back out to you guys in just a minute. But first, let's remind everybody what's coming up tomorrow in the AFC. We've got the 3-6 game, and it's going to be one heck of a battle, that's for sure. Meanwhile, in our game, it took a little while to get settled in, but we were in for a battle royale in this second half. And to call the action, let's go back to the guys who've been there all year, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. This fielded right at the goal line. And able to get this out to the 25. And this offense set to go now to begin the third quarter. 
And they're in the position they expected to be in. They've got the lead, home crowd behind them, and they're looking toward making that next step in these playoffs. And I think a key for them is to put together some good, long, extended drives. Work the run in a little more with that big offensive line. I'm not saying get away from throwing the football. That's still working. But they run it more effectively. They make it even bigger plays in the passing game. Partner as a quarterback, sometimes you just got to know when the clock has gone off in your head, it's time to go. Tuck it and get all you can. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Now back to throw. Oh, and Hurts is going to be hit and taken down to the ground. Joey Bosa, he's the one that got home and takes him down for a loss of nine. I thought there at the end he may have had a chance to release that, but that pocket closed a little too quickly, and down he went. Yeah, he was certainly trying to do everything he could to extend the life of the play, probably counting in his head. One, two, and then he ran out of time. Back quite a ways here, facing second and 19. Going on the ground with Jacobs. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Steps away to his left. Now whistles here, and we've got a man down. Man down on the field. While the training staff takes a peek, we'll take a break. Here's Sam Cook now. And the way this offense has moved the ball, he hasn't been needed till here in the third. Here's Jackson to return. That'll be a net of only 30 here. 40-yard punt, 10 on the return. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. And hoping to do better than they did their last possession when they punted the football. Appeal to the vanity of your offensive line. Tell them that they control your fate. Leverage guys. Win the line of scrimmage. If you do that, you start to win first down. You win second down. And guess what? You start accumulating first downs. And that's what they need in order to not punt the ball again. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. Now they'll bootleg it with Kaiser. Swings this out for Hunt. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. And it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? First down, Kaiser. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. On first and 10, Kaiser steps away. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Cameron Hayward able to get him for a loss of about three. He was really focused downfield, but there was really no viable options. The coverage was too good. And the defense really quickened the tempo of that play with their pass rush because there was nowhere for him to go with the football. The only place he ended up, down on the ground. Thirteen yards remaining on second down. Another try after the first down sack. Kaiser, it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. They'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. Now Kaiser. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. 
But the passing windows are just not there. And that's just another example of how great this defense has been all game long. And that's exactly what a top 10 defense can do. They can really change the game tempo and frustrate you as you try to execute offensively. So now on comes the field goal unit. And wow, this is no ordinary try here. They'll spot it at the 47, so call it a 57-yard attempt. A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. So after that hot start, the numbers here show the decline. What has the defense done adjustment-wise? Sometimes when you have a running back who's gotten off to a hot start, you've got to catch him before he really gets going. So you change what you do across the defensive front. Instead of the linebackers being back a few yards, you bring them up closer. It's what we call mugging the line of scrimmage, taking away a lot of blocking angles and gaps, and maybe stopping him before he can get going. Mugging the line of scrimmage, okay. Yeah, in this case. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. And we often talk about defensive end setting the edge, sometimes even the outside linebackers, but how about here? This is a cornerback essentially setting the edge and finishing off that play for a loss. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. He'll look to throw. Open here, Adam Thielen. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. On first and 10, it's Hurts. That one caught by Tyreek Hill. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. That's another beautiful throw right there. Gets it to his man right in stride. And I think that throw kind of exemplifies what we've seen from this offense throughout this game. They've been in rhythm. They've been sharp. They've been on it. And they pick up another first down there. They'll run on first down. Jacobs. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and 10. They've called his number a lot this afternoon. You wonder how much tread is left on those tires. We certainly do. But I always think back to one of my favorite coaches in the NFL. And he used to have a meeting with his running backs every year in the offseason and said, And it's caught. Touchdown. Tyreek Hill. There to make the grab. And the Mounties continue to show why it pays to play at home in the postseason as they add on to their lead. Well, look, this is a team, Charles. They faced adversity all year long. They had to fight and claw to win that division. But they're putting it all together here in the wild card game. Feels like a statement, doesn't it? An absolute statement game, a message to the top seeds. Overlook us at your own peril. We're pretty darn good. McPherson now for the extra point. And that PAT pushes the lead up to 23 now. Five plays there on that drive. To the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. Jackson now to return. And he won't quite make it to the 25. The Chicago offense set to get started. And the last time that they were on the field, a little demoralizing. Missed field goal. You know, always feel like you want to get it in the end zone, but then, oh, well, at least we're going to get three didn't go through the goalpost, so. It does test the mental processes of the team, though, doesn't it? Because when you miss a field goal, it's amazing how fast they want to turn on the guy kicking the ball. But you need to keep his confidence up because how many times have we seen games where it comes down to a stretch? And guess what? You need that guy to make the big kick for your team to move on or to win a game. Make sure you keep him happy. Make sure you keep him comfortable. I'm sure you always treated the kicker nicely, though, right? You know, truthfully, I did. Good. I always did, because those guys, they won us a whole lot of games. 
From up near the 40 now after the big play to start, here's another first and 10. On the jet sweep, here's Cooper. Solid move, but he's corralled just beyond the 40. Coming up on second and seven. They'll run with Hunt. And very little daylight there. He'll get a couple up to the 44. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. From the gun, Kaiser. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he will have the first down as he's brought down up near midfield. Fifth catch of the game for him there. Yeah, and the tight end position is now becoming a volume pass catcher. Used to be occasional, right? Safety valve, throw one to him every so often, but more, mainly they want him out there to block. Nowadays, an integral part of the passing game, and they create such great mismatches that they often become the leading receiver. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and ten. Play fake, Kaiser. He's got his receiver, Cooper. And he is brought down, but not before reaching the 30. So Amari Cooper out of Northwestern High School in Miami making a nice play there. And it's so funny that when I was going through the draft process when he came out of Alabama and was inquiring about him and his skills, they say it all began back in Miami. He really became a pro receiver at a young age because of his attention to detail and precision. But don't forget his athletic ability. That's what made that catch there. And he did spend one year with Teddy Bridgewater as his quarterback there, so that helped back in high school. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And it'll be second and very short. Here's a handoff to Hunt running left. And not able to break away this time as they're going to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of two, now third down. survive round one here in the AFC. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. And this offense on third down today, lacking much success, just two for seven to this point. Here it's third and two. Over the middle, Amari Cooper, it's complete. And they'll get this down to the 10. Well, this game was decided a while ago, and that completion there is going to artificially inflate his passing numbers. So right now, the only one really applauding probably his agent as he thinks about angling for a new contract. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. From the gun, Kaiser, oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. They'll go again here from the 10-yard line on second and goal. Throwing again, Kaiser firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he gets halfway home from the 10 to the 5 on a pickup of 5. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. Now this likely a must-have. Third and goal. Back to throw again. And that is incomplete. The field goal doesn't help. They're going to go for the six here on fourth and goal. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Cordray Tankersley with a pick. Well, offensively, Charles, hard to put a silver lining on this one. No secret that they had to take chances with a score where it is, and it leads to a turnover. I love how you paint the picture, partner, because you're exactly right about that one. Look at the empty stairs on that sideline. This is one of those games we just want to go crawl under a rock until it's over. 
The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And after the interception, they are sitting in an even better spot with the ball and a comfortable fourth quarter lead. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. 90 yards rushing for him now as he has been a central figure in trying to get his guys to the second round. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run, got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. So up through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Running it with Jacobs. And unable to get downhill there as he'll take this up to about the 37. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. They'll go option to the short side. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. But now they're in a spot that every team tells us when we have our production mix, they don't want to be in third and long. And that's because those back-to-back -back running plays just didn't accomplish a whole lot. On third down, here comes Jacobs. And he brings this up to the 46, good enough for the first. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. And I just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. Couple of first downs to kick off the drive. Here's first and 10 up at the 46. They run it with Jacobs. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Now the man from UTEP, this is Aaron Jones. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play that time, and they'll look to convert on what will be a third and four. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. I don't care how many times we say it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. On first down. It's Jacobs. They're going to snuff this play out behind the line. We have not seen that much today. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Well, that was one of the few times they've been able to contain him thus far. He's over 100 yards for the game, but he lost a bit off his total on that carry. A rare misstep on that last play because the drive has been strong, but now it's second and 12. They'll stay on the ground with Jacobs. And he'll be taken down at the 34. This offense so far on third down, they're at 50%, four for eight. This is third and 11. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And this effort will not get it done. He stopped well short of the first down at the 29. It's a gain of five, but it'll lead to a fourth down. And there's a run to be happy with. Good, solid yardage. He'll take that any time you hand the ball to a back. So they'll turn to the kicker again. He's been a busy man thus far. From the right hash, it's a 46-yard attempt. McPherson's kick is good. And that will make the lead now 26.
So it's three more points, and that widens this thing out even further here in the fourth. And you know in this league, you can never have enough points, but this widens it out, as you said, and now it's all about ball control, isn't it? And not willing to risk another fumble. He'll sit on this one. It's a touchback. Deshaun Kaiser making his way out to the huddle, and that interception that ended their previous drive likely also ended any shot they had at victory. Yeah, long road back from here, no doubt about that one, but... Let's face it, if you're going to go out there and compete, you want to try and end on a strong note, don't you? Absolutely. It won't end in a victory, like you said, but they can maybe take something positive out of this one. He'll find Smith-Schuster. That's complete. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Back to throw. Kaiser. And his throw is going to be incomplete. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Charlie Werner, the tight end, the intended target. And it's third down. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. And we are inside of two minutes left in this lopsided affair. So it's our visitors with the football as we get you reset. They've got a first and 10 as they search for a late score. Well, Kaiser can't get away, and he'll go down. Cameron Hayward picks up his second sack of the afternoon. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. That is incomplete. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. Third and long for Kaiser. And a dangerous throw there as that's knocked down and incomplete. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And that went a little too high as it's knocked away and incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the ball will go over on downs on the short side of the field. So they tried to go for it for pride, but it really wouldn't have mattered. This one, it was already determined. No doubt about it. This one was over a while ago. Toronto's offense ready to take over. And you'd have to say they have done what they set out to do in this wild card round. It won't get easier from here, of course, but they'll certainly have some momentum built up for when they hit the road in the divisional round next weekend. They'll run on first down. It's Jacobs, and he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Second down, Jacobs once more. He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. Getting into the playoffs is one thing. Now they get to move on just eight teams left. The dream stays alive. Everyone's gunning for the Super Bowl. That's the ultimate. But you have to get there in incremental steps. One win today gets them one step closer. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaughton. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. So long, everybody.